Uh, is uh, a number of things. We all know that Nigeria is right now on ground zero. We don't have anything that is functioning or working. Our security uh, is in horrible shape. Uh, we don't have power supply. Required to bring about development and industrial growth and provide jobs. Uh, our schools are not able to take care of our Timmy population. Health is in shambles. So we have 10 point agenda that we're working concurrently, simultaneously, to lift Nigeria out of uh, this uh, hopelessness that we're in now. And it's called Spicer Heat, led by security, power, infrastructure, anti corruption, economic growth and development. Uh, we want to restructure the country, uh, but in a way that uh, we have honest arbiters in the restructuring process, not people who are hiding behind political agenda to talk about restructuring as they did with uh, Atiku, who recently no longer talk about restructuring again. Uh, the rest are health, education, agriculture, and tourism. So those are areas where there will be massive uh, attention paid to every facet of our lives in Nigeria. And uh, most importantly, uh, we would ensure that within two and a half years, we particularly invest in electricity to the extent we, that we will have over 24,000 megawatts of electricity so that every town, city and village in this town can have access to electricity. And, uh, and that would uh, boost the economy a lot. But without security, you know we can't even have uh, this infrastructure that we're talking about installed appropriately and safely anywhere. So, this country is um, uh, on a path to glory. If uh, the opportunity is granted myself and uh, our party to lift the country out of the doldrums. Their the, programs are... Judging by the strength of PDP and APC already. Well, uh, our chances are very bright. It's as bright as the aspirations of the Nigerian people to climb out of the failure that uh, PDP in the last 16 years and APC in the last almost four years has plunged it. And we are seeing enthusiasm all over the country. We have campaigned in about 32 states in the last nine months and have been accepted. Uh, our campaign included going to the hometown of President Muhammad Buhari, and we were surprised at the kind of uh, warm reception we got there. So we have structures, I mean real organic structures, not these retail outlets that the other political parties are using to bribe and intimidate voters all over the country particularly among young people who have been left out of uh, uh, the political system over the last 58 years. Uh, you, your ideas are very lucky ones. Yes. But would you raise uh, the economy? How do you fund this uh, program? So this is very fantastic. Uh, the economy is not dwindling. The economy is being mismanaged. And I've mentioned it before that our economy uh, will be taken care of in such a way that whatever we get will be applied to the Nigerian people. Uh, what has happened is that for too long Nigeria has been supporting the greedy and has forgotten the needy. And otherwise, there is enough to go around. We are in the Niger Delta region today that has produced over 500 billion, sorry, over five trillion dollars in uh, oil revenue to Nigeria. But out of that, 500 billion dollars has been stolen and taken out of this country. So you can imagine what, could have, what that could have done for us in terms of providing education, health, road infrastructure. Even the, I think it's the East-West Highway could not be completed in the last 16 years. Our people are dying there. Our waters are polluted, you know. But yet we have over nine billion cubic feet of gas, you know, going land, you know, which can power the entire West African region in terms of just electricity supply, but if we don't clean up uh, our going land, if we don't take care of the Niger Delta people, we cannot go near that. So what I'm telling you is that there is enough, yeah, but we have to make sure that the thieves uh, move away from you know, our treasury before we can even make any form of progress. You know, the moment, for instance, that we have electricity working, the GDP of this country will move uh, astronomically and dynamically in a direction that even economists all over the world will be surprised at where Nigeria is coming from. And most importantly, beyond oil and you know, uh, other products, we have our people. 
the most resourceful people probably on earth, Nigerians. If you put the right investment in an average Nigerian, they will change the world. Maybe on the last note, yes. the, the, the uh, academic uh, qualifications of most of our uh, presidential aspirants are after that high in town. Yes. As a young man, what can you, uh, uh, how educated are you to handle this? Mine is not in doubt. I attended a primary school in my village, in Kiribu, uh, which is known in those states, and that's verifiable. I attended the University of Lagos. Uh, after I attended uh, secondary school with uh, Akokite, and uh, after I left the University of Lagos where I did geography and planning, you can check that out. I was a student union president there, so there's no doubt about my academic background in Nigeria, and I left to go to an Ivy League school, one of the best 10 universities in the U.S., Columbia University, where I obtained my master's degree in public administration. So the rest of the candidates have to prove to you even if they have WIAC. We are good good message for Nigeria. As a young man, do you, do you think it's time to change? We are in the mind that Nigeria never produces a president that's less than 50. We stand, this is the best time to be young in Nigeria because a lot of people have come to the understanding that it is our time. And this is the best time for a young person who is dynamic, who's got fresh ideas to take the country from the way it is now to uh, the finest place. So I'm not going to be a young person who is promising you the next level because the next level is a fraud. Thank you. This one is, uh, this is the real people. Uh, we're not, we're not, we're not, we are not stopping there. Very good. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. I'm Councillor Yvette Chasson Wara from Liberia. Okay. And the head of the Women's Situation Room. Wow. Which is international. Yeah. And uh, we go from country to country to ensure that there's peaceful elections, especially in Africa. Absolutely. We've been mandated mm -hmm. by the African Union okay. the United Nations uh, Security Council. Wow. So um, we're very happy to see that you're running. Yes. And congratulations. Thank you so much. We really hope that you all will be successful. Thank you. But more importantly, that we'll have peaceful elections. No, absolutely. We are very committed to peaceful elections. Uh, we have been uh, around for nine months and been to 32 states in Nigeria. In fact, absolutely with no police protection. Uh, and uh, there has not been a single incident you know, of uh, violence. So the people you need to worry about are the big parties. Okay. Because part of the agenda is to visit violence on voters yes, and, you know, that has to stop and, and themselves. So, we are committed to ensuring that not only are we peaceful, but they also adhere to the principles of peaceful elections. And before I started running, I, uh, I was a reporter and I covered extensively on elections in Nigeria. So I know all the hard spots. Okay. And people have a propensity for violence. So I, I, I've uh, talked to her and uh, we can assist you even independently you. so that you can identify who to talk to. Yes. And, uh, so that they can put themselves under control. We appreciate that. We, re we look forward to working with you. Thank you, absolutely. And uh, definitely we want to see Nigeria peacefully go into the transition. Absolutely. So, Most importantly, that there's a transition from the violent people to peaceful people like us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. This is my card. Thank you. You have my card. Sorry, sorry. Don't give me a
Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Take 
his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Ersi, take his back. Easy.